You are now listening to the How to Evolve podcast. You can find this channel on Twitter, Gab.ai, BitChute, and Minds.com. This is a Real American Patriot channel for Real American Patriots. If you're not a Real American Patriot, please exit the channel. Furthermore, we are not sponsored by any outside interference. That means we're unscripted, unrehearsed, and unedited. With that being said, transmission will commence momentarily. How are you guys doing, guys? This is the Holly Bob Podcast. My name's Safan. You can find me on Minds.com, BitChute, Twitter, Gat.com. Most importantly, like, share, subscribe, because we're writing this until the wheel fall off. On that note, guys, let's cover politics, right? Let's cover poli- what's happening right now in the news of politics, right? This is an article from Breitbart regarding to what's going, who's leading the Democratic poll right now. All right, give me one moment while I load this up for you guys. I appreciate you guys for being patient. Without you... This podcast would not be possible. This channel would not be would not be possible without you guys. So you're greatly I'm greatly appreciated for your time. All right, here's the article. Pete Buttigieg, all right, Pete Butt, I, I want to call it Pete Butt, draw a longer crowd in the New Hampshire than front runner Biden. All right. South Bend Mayor Pete Buttigieg appeared to draw a larger crowd in New Hampshire on Friday than Democratic front runner, former Vice President Joe Biden. Right, both men hosted a rally on Dover, New Hampshire, to discuss the presidential ambition of the courts um, and court supporter ahead of the state first in nation primary. Although Biden's support lead the mayor among New Hampshire voters in the poll, Rodriguez was one who pulled exponentially more attendees at his event in the state. Because New Hampshire is a very liberal state, let's say that. All right, there's a lot of, let me say this, softball people, a lot of um, soy boy cucks out there. All right, that's what that's what they are. <laughs> and these people are very reminiscent of Pete Butt. All right, they're Alfred E. Newman type sissies. <laughs> and I'm not saying all New Hampshire's are like that. Just the majority of them are like that. All right, not all, not all, not all, but most. All right, Mike. Um, uh, was it Mo Moley? Mike Moley, NBC News correspondent, was the first to note the disparity in the crowd sizes in social media. Quote: Joe Biden has a couple hundred outside of Dover this afternoon, where earlier Pete Buttigieg drew eight hundred across towns. Moley tweeted. No, Moley tweeted. Even though the crowd are very more in the, um, intimate with Biden event. That did not mean that he got a warm reception. The former vice president was confronted by immigration activists. The Dem- Democrats are really killing themselves. They're, the party is very diminishing right now. All right? It's just self-destructing right now, the party. They, they don't realize that. The three million deportations, the three million deportations that took place during the administration of President Barack Obama, activism demand Biden apologize for the deportation and promise of halt the future one of the election in tw- um halt any future one if elected in 2020 see the thing with biden is he's a very weak man you know why i say he's weak because he's always apologizing what is the trait of weakness apologizing in my opinion i think that's what's weak you can't stand your ground you made your decision just live with it stop addressing it all right carry on move on you made your decision you already know the type of you. There's no, so because you apologize, that does not change the fact that you made the decision. So there's no point in apologizing. All right? And when you apologize, it makes you very, very weak. What are you going to do? Apologize to your enemy if you got you get in a war? Like Barack Obama did? All right? This, 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 his campaign, his campaign, what, manager or whatever it is, they should tell him to stop apologizing. It makes you look very, very weak. All right, and he's just doing what he knows he'll apologize. He thinking he thinking that will g- get people vote and respect. No, when you apologize, people will re- more will least like le- least likely to respect you. All right, in my opinion, I think so. I think it's very weak. Just stand your ground. All right, you already did it, and prove make your point clearly, and and make a stern decision. When you stand your ground, it means you make a firm decision. We want somebody who make a firm decision and stand their ground. And not being backed down. When you back down from these people, that means you're a weak person. That's what that's when that's what I say when what I mean when you're weak. You're easily persuaded by the crowd. All right? That's not a strong leader. A strong leader does not give in to anybody's emotions. I will not apologize for the deportation of people who are committed a felony. Biden said responding demand. 
I will apologize for deportation and the fact that you we were deported because the fact that you were engaged in a misdemeanor or your family was separated. All right? The family separate. They keep using family separation for immigrants. What about you separate American family? How come American family don't matter, but immigration family, it matters? You separate American family all the time due to court, domestic violence, child endangerment, all right? Which fall under category of legal immigration. This is why we, we separate his family due to, due to the same reason. So why is one one group of family matters than the other group of family matters? Why does why do immigration family matters more than American family? That's the question they need to ask. That's the question you need to ask. All right. We need family separation. We need family separation. Biden said in the parent gaff. Of course we do, because some of these parents need to be separated from the kids because they don't know the parenting sucks. All right. Immigration activists surrounded Biden as he worked on a rope line po- post over event to protest the de- um, deportation in Obama administration. I heard Obama say that he would meet with the young group. Of Why is there so many immigration activists in New Hampshire? Of all places, New Hampshire. Does New Hampshire, do, do they have that dense of uh, illegal immigration populations? <laughs> Pete Buttigieg, on the other hand, appear to have much warmer welcome from a crowd attendee in this event, South Bend Mayor. However, he's seen a surge of popularity despite mounting public safety issues in his hometown. Exactly. A lot of black people got arrested during his, his, his power, his, his time as mayor. Right? A lot of people, a lot of blacks were being, were being killed as him being mayor of his South Bend, um, South Bend Mayor because of his, of his um, leadership. All right, so it doesn't look good from from the black population from Pete Buttigieg. All right, so just because this article say he's leading doesn't mean he's he's in a good shape as well. Remember, he's trailing in the poll. All right, Biden's shrinking crowd comes only a week after the poll shows that he's trailing Senator Bernie Sanders in the state. The same poll f- um, found Buttigieg fourth place. Exactly, that's what I said. He's still. Because he draw a large crowd, that doesn't mean he's leading in the poll. In the poll, you can't just rely on the poll, too. However, polling, however, is not direct indication of success and support of New Hampshire. Exactly, I just said that. You can't rely on the poll. Especially given the state of small sizes and previous primary voters have been known to reward candidate adapted to retail political over more established and better funding competitors. Exactly. So basically, I said this in I've my video before. The Democratic Party is whoever could rake in the most money get the nomination. That's basically it. If you can rake in the most money, you get the nominations. All right. Or if you could f- fund it, the party with the most money, you get the nominations. But this shows you the ludicrousy of the Democratic Party. All right, Pete Buttigieg. This guy is not going to win anything. He's not going to win the black vote. All right, black vote is very crucial to the Democrat. He's not gonna win. He's a white. He's a white male. Sure, he's not straight. He's not straight, but he's still a white male, all right. And that's what they're not. They're not looking for right now, all right. If I want to pick for a Democrat, it will be, well, I don't know. It'll probably be Mary Ann Williamson because it will be a, just a walk, cake walk for Trump, all right. <laughs> that's what I want in the nomination. K- Trump will walk all, all all over her, all right. But these people are ridiculous. I mean, any but. Don't get me wrong, Trump will walk all over these people. All right, there's no winning contenders in the Democratic Party. Trump is winning with by a landslide. All right, there's no winning contender in the Democratic Party, so I don't have nothing to worry about by these people. The only thing I have to worry about is get, it get it give more credence, notoriety, notoriety to people that don't deserve it. All right, Pete Buttigieg, he don't deserve any more notoriety. Tulsi Gabbard don't need any more notoriety. Elizabeth Warren. Um, Joe Biden, they don't need any more notoriety. That's what the bad thing about this. That's why I hate it so much. Because none of these people need any kind of any kind of um, validation at all. Alright. But let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. Who you think is going to be the front runner. Pretty good. Just boot butt. Pete Butt is catching up. Alright. And Joe Biden, he's still having problems. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. Alright, because I wasn't saying YouTube don't want to monetize my channel because I'm unscripted, unrehearsed, and edited. I mean, I can say what I want without being bothered by any outside interference. Alright, because of that, um, I'm not taking any donations. Alright, because I want people to think for themselves. You don't have to agree with the, the thing I say. At least you think for yourself. 
Because group thinking will get you killed. Group thinking is communism. Group thinking is democratic. Group thinking is Black Lives Matter. Group thinking is Antifa. Group thinking is socialism. Group thinking is Russia. Group thinking is North Korea. Group thinking is Venezuela. And they're all falling apart. That's what group thinking gets you. Group thinking will get you off the cliff. That's why I'm so much of an advocate to people to think for themselves and not, not be a group thinker, right? Because when you think for yourself, you don't affect me. When, you, when you're a group thinker, you affect me, all right? That's why I'm not looking for any donations. Because if you think for yourself, you don't affect me. You don't affect me. That's mean I'm not losing any of my money, all right? That's why I'm not taking any donations because if it's fulfilling enough for you to think for, for yourself. It's fulfilling for me for you to think for yourself. That's what it is. That's what I want to say, all right? I give enough as, um, um, how do I say this? I get enough, um, reward just for you to think for yourself. And that's basically the point of this channel. If you like what I'm saying, please like, share, subscribe. Because when you like, share, subscribe, it encourages me, encourage me to make more video. When I make more video, I saturate YouTube algorithm. When YouTube algorithm is saturated, and make my content more broader to a wider to a broader audience, more more easy accessible to a broader audience. Within those audience, I might enlighten them to think for themselves. Right? Because that's the point of this channel, to give, think for yourself. But on that note, guys, let me know what you think. I know your time is very precious. I try not wasting your time. This is the Hollywood Podcast. My name is Fawn, and I'm signing out. Peace.